long my mind travels to a lot of different places. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a brand new Ivy Park unboxing for you. This collection is called Ivy Topia. Now, I did originally film a half an hour video, however my camera fell and something happened to my memory card and I just lost 30 minutes of footage. So, luckily I didn't cover too much, but the stuff I did cover was a little bit of a rant in terms of the drop, the communication, all of that stuff so if I feel up to it I will record it again because I did spend about 20 minutes recording that so I'm a little little great deal annoyed but if I do decide to film that I'm gonna film that and put that at the end of the vlog and then kind of close off on it so I hope that's okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you items that I bought and I'm gonna show you on screen as b-roll stuff that I've tried on and the size that I decided to keep so if you see it on screen and I say I'm keeping it in terms of general stuff but if there's items of clothing that I say I'm going to keep I will show you b-roll which will have my sizes on so you can gauge and figure it out based upon that. So we're going to work our way from accessories to bottoms to tops. Right first and foremost we have the socks. I'm not going to show you them on because I'm not a foot creep. I don't like showing my feet on the, online. I don't like showing my legs online to be honest. So we have the socks. We have a shock cyan pair. These are a large because I'm a size 10 in adidas we have a silver with like silver tin foil and then we have a like whitey off-white cream color pair with like silver glittery stripes so yeah adidas ivy park socks not really much to say about them but they're socks they're good they're fun they're nice extending items that i like to wear around the house and i like collecting them from each drop so those are the socks so next up we have the ivy park bucket hat the reversible ones so on one side you have khaki and you have ivy park written in like metallic silver it's actually pretty good quality the bucket hats are really fun i love collecting them and i love wearing them then adidas on the other side in the same kind of manner then it has this kind of cuban chain which is pretty cool and then on the other side you have Ivy Park and Adidas in the same metallic but it's in this metallic silver colour. So this is pretty cool, I really like this and the quality is really nice and it's really smooth. I think it's kind of, it looks waterproof but I don't know if it is or not. I'm going to move over to the side so you can see me try it on but I really really dig this, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, that is the bucket hat. Next up we have an item that I thought was going to be delayed. Again, I will mention this at the end of the video. However, it appeared and I bought it because I'm a impulse purchase maniac. So it's in the same vein as the bucket hat, the same khaki colour. But it's a big brim sun hat. So we have Abby Park in the front of the metallic, Adidas in the back of the metallic, the three stripes, and this lovely gorgeous khaki green, and the Cuban link chain. So that is the hat. So we're now going to move on to bottoms. Now I picked up the... What should we do first? We'll do shorts. I picked up the khaki green swimming shorts that paired with the tank top because I... Thought, I originally thought they were just shorts and I wasn't going to get them. Well, I was. I wanted them, but then I, they came off my list. But then I found out they were swim shorts as well. So I was like, get straight in my basket. All right. So we have the Ivy Park swim shorts in this little bag here. I'm going to bag it for you. The Ivy Park swim shorts last year were the flex ones. And I did like them, but for the price... Not so much, but these are really good quality. Okay, so let's let's go because they're green khaki shorts, right? This is what they look like. Uh, they look brown on screen, but I promise you they're green. They're like the sun hat color. So you have three stripes running down one side and then Adidas logo on the left hand butt cheek top and then Ivy Park on the right hand butt cheek top. I don't know how well you can see that there. You have pockets on the back. Just one pocket. They're really good quality actually, they're really good quality. I really like the colour as well, I think I'm going to keep these. Inside obviously you have mesh because they're swing trunks, but I think these would work well as normal like day-to-day -day shorts as well for holiday, so that's why I picked them up. But yeah, swim shorts, can't really talk much about that. The aglets have like metal tips, which is pretty cool. So next up in shorts, let me adjust this, is it going to adjust? are the Shock Cyan all gender shorts, I don't know what like, fabric they are. But I think they're terry. The same as the last kind of like hoodies, but I love the blue. The blue is absolutely stunning. Again, okay. Weirdly, in a summer drop, very thick clothing. I don't really get it. There's like nylon panels, which would help with breathability, I believe. But they are like on top of Terry. But I do like the fact that it kind of changes colour ever so slightly when it transitions from the Terry to the nylon. 
you can't see but obviously terry shorts you have the nylon on the right side right leg you have ivy park on there yeah uh, the little teardrop zips which are pretty cool and then adidas on the left leg and a pocket on this side i'm not doing a regular job i'll model these for you because i am going to keep these but this is what they look like they're very heavy for summer but i'm a big fan of shorts so these are a definite keep for me i also like the nyloning like material so i guess if you spilt something on it it would just wash away or like drip off i'd hope and then penultimately for tops i think this is the second to last i'm saving the best for last to be honest so these this is the tank now i'm very body conscious so i'm gonna try this on and then show you if i pluck up the plug up enough courage and also if i like it like the look on my body if i decide to keep it to be honest this is the mesh tank top now it's really really thin really light maybe i should have gone size down a lot to be fair, I don't mind it. I actually do quite like it. So this is what it looks like. It's in this khaki colour with like yellow and silver and green and grey like stripes. It's very, very light. It's very thin. Again, very breathable. But, oh god, I'm already stressed about trying it on. But I think I might try it on. But it kind of... It looks ever so slightly like the monogram. If you look at it in a certain light. Uh, but that is the mesh tank. I wish the holes were smaller if I'm honest, because I do want to hide as much of my body as I can. But I feel like I could wear this with a tank and then a tank underneath. But also, I feel like this will be a good body motivator for me to try and lose weight. So, there's always that. Okay, and then absolutely finally, we have the Khaki Bomber. Now I'm very excited, however, I'm also slightly worried because I don't know what size I've got and it's huge and it's sold out and I'm really worried because this is a lot smaller than I normally get and it's still massive. Everyone said size down two sizes or three sizes. I don't know if this is going to fit or not and I'm really worried because it's my favourite thing from the collection and it's sold out. It is really smooth, it's heavy but obviously the satin makes it really really smooth. I love the look of it, I really like it. So. This is what she looks like. Now she's reversible, so it's the exact same design on the inside, but it's in that blue. I'll do it in a minute, but uh, let's talk to details. So it's like this floral, like ice, glass, shard, coral vibe. So yeah, we've got the triangle zips that you're all familiar with, yeah? We've got two zip pockets in the front. Again, Richard will model this a little bit better for you because this is a definite keep, but this is huge. This is massive. The sleeves are really puffy as well. Okay, Ivy Park is in this lovely shock blue on the right hand arm. And then it is also, Adidas is also on the other side in the same blue, but on the left sleeve. There's also a pocket on the left hand sleeve. So pocket, that's one thing Ivy Park does really well. Pockets, pockets, pockets. So there we go, there. I'm not doing a very good job because I'm rushing, because I'm hot. So yeah, it is reversible. So I will show you what this beauty looks like. It's very heavy, but it's also very like lightweight. I'm not going to do it too long. There's like pockets on this side, but they don't have the zip. They're just like those pockets. This blue is beautiful. I probably wear it with the green though. I like the green. I like the blue, but I probably wear it with the green like how it's modelled. So I ordered a small and an extra small just to be safe. I hope the extra small fits, but maybe I should have gone for a two X. Who knows? But I think that is everything. I did also pick up the Ultra Boost. However, do you want to see them? I did record a section of it and that's the section that got taken out and I want to see my first reactions to it, but I'll just show you, All right? Oh wait, my dumbass has forgot the most important thing. Um, on the topic of tops still, I also bought the matching blue sweatshirt to the blue shorts and I didn't even show you. Am I stupid? The one thing I'm extremely excited about and happy about is the fact that I complained about logos in my Ivy Park, Dear Ivy Park video. And guess what's back, baby? Logos! So this is the Shock Cyan. Oh, nylon, I forgot about that. It's nylon as well. So again, on the back, it's nylon. There we go, at the top half. And the sleeves are slightly nylon, like padded nylon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Is this going to be too big for me? Yes. Oh, I didn't even notice that. And there's three stripes running down like the sides. Yeah, very happy with this. So yeah, the blue sweatshirt. Okay, we're gonna move on to the shoes quickly because I just want—I do want to show you them. 
Okay, so here we have the Ultra Brutes. Now I'm still determining whether I want them or not. I'm not going to mod these on because that will make me keep them and I don't want that. So on the box we have a brown box. We have Ivy Park on the sticker and we have Adidas on the sticker. It's like this flex orange. So these are a size 10 by the way. Um, and inside, this is something that already got me, is a monogram paper, which is pretty cool. Isn't that cool? I am sad that they're taking the tags away, but I do like the little paper. We also have paper underneath that. And then we have the Ultra Boost. The more I hold it, the more I really like it. It's just a nice chunky sneaker. Oh. So we have metallic detailing. We have Ultra Boost here. Yeah, three stripes in the silver. This lovely neon color neon tip that's really cool we have this like rope like shoelaces aglets are dipped in the same neon inside it says adidas ivy park and then on the bottom is this lovely lovely neon i am worried that these get dirt will get dirty but they're really nice shoes and then on this side sorry it says ivy park in the metal on the metal something that really popped off and got me really excited about these was the fact that if you look under the shoe under the shoe cage there's the ivy park monogram you can see it ever ever so slightly on the camera there and it kind of goes under the shoe, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not going to show you it on because I will keep it. And I do not need to spend 170 quid. They smell brand new as well. You know when something smells so fresh and so you want to like chomp it? Oh, they are really nice shoes. I do really like them. Who knows? Rochelle might keep them. If he does, he'll let you know. But on this, right now, I need to save the money. Okay? Rochelle, you need to be good. You can get these at a different time. All right, Rochelle? They're 170 pounds. What can you get for 170 pounds? A coffee costs five pounds. 30 coffees? Yeah, 30 coffees. 35 coffees. I really like them. So yeah, that is this unboxing kind of done. I think I will add the B-roll and that will be the completion of this section of the vlog. I will do a little rant at the end of the video. So I'm gonna section the video into chapters so you can kind of skip around and see what you like and see what you wanna see or watch all of it or whatever. Um, watch all of it, love you. Like it helps me out, thank you. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this section of the video. I hope you managed to get your pieces from the collection. Let me know what you got down below. Let me know what you thought of the collection. Let me know what you thought of the whole situation, given how I'll end the video. But yeah, that is the unboxing section done. I will see you in a tick. So, I said I would end the video off with a little mini rant that got cut when my camera kind of broke at the beginning. So I'm gonna talk about it now. So this drop was an absolute mess. I'm very stressed and I'm very frustrated. Some of the stuff I addressed in my Dear Ivy Park video has been addressed in this drop. My main gripe was with the logos and they put the logos back on the sweatshirts and I was very happy because they were quite big as well. But we're gonna, I'm just gonna talk you through what happened. So normally two weeks before, Adidas uploads the Ivy Park little page on the app where it gives you a size guide, it gives you models wearing the clothes, it just gives you a little bit of information about the drop. So they didn't do that. Now the trailer dropped two weeks before, as usual it always does, and come drop day, no communication, nothing. We didn't know what time it dropped. Now it normally drops at 11am UK time. I kind of woke up at like 8 because I thought early access is sometimes at 9, sometimes 8.30, 9.30, I don't know. There's always early access though. So I woke up at 8 and I sat around and nothing appeared. So then I contacted Adidas and they said they still don't know what time the drop is. And I was like, the drop is today. How do you not know anything? Another gripe I have is their customer service don't know diddly squat. And it's it frustrates the hell out of me. Also, the drop was actually meant to be two weeks before and I actually spoke to someone from Adidas London the stores and apparently the stuff had already arrived in the stores and it was there two weeks prior. So I could have gone and got my stuff. And this drop was very weird because when Adidas News released the article about the drop after the trailer had dropped, it had loads of product images. So I guess that kind of sufficed our need for leaks. So that was all right, but yeah. Back to drop day, no one knew what time it was dropping, no one was giving any communication, so I went out and I started to work in a cafe because I needed to get some work done. And then randomly at 11am I get a notification saying shop Ivytopia now, and I went on and everything was there. But it was all early access and it was divided into tiers, so you could only access certain items based on the level you were, and obviously I'm a level, I'm the highest level you can be on there because I've been sp I spent too much money on there. So I kind of just did my shop, it was pretty easy breezy i was quite stressed because i was like i don't know how fast things are gonna sell out the satin bomber sold out pretty quickly um then they restocked sizes and then it sold out by the end of the day and then the normal release wasn't till the day after at like midday which was really odd 
but I managed to get all my stuff, I managed to get all my pieces and it was more affordable this time around and it was something that I was very aware of and I was like, oh, okay, I'm very happy with that. However, some of the items advertised were missing. I'd heard rumours that some of the stuff had been delayed or cancelled and that was the case for basically all the tin foil, like silver stuff, which was annoying because because I had friends who wanted that stuff. I didn't personally, so I wasn't that fussed, but I was upset for my friends. So there was like some items missing that were advertised and in the promo video, which was really frustrating. The last drop they did was the shoe and sock drop, the Stan Summer drop, which was a pathetic drop. And I, I was furious. I was like, what the hell is this? I do believe they've heard us in terms of reducing the amount of drops, but I live for the content, I live for the marketing, I love seeing what visuals they have and that's why it's so frustrating that they keep delaying stuff or like cancelling stuff and yeah we had that stand summer drop and then we had the rumoured 7th of July drop and then that got pushed and it was really weird, it's just messy. There's no communication or anything of the time or the fact that a lot of the items would not be there which was annoying and odd but it was Ivy Park, it's Adidas, what can you expect? So I did my shop and got everything done and then I kind of just browsed the site and just looked at everything and then I was able to buy everything on the app by the way um, which has never ever been done before normally you have to access the drop online normally early access is on the app but you have to do the main drop on the site but everything uh, the main the early access thing let me just do it all on the app so that was pretty cool so then the next day ASOS and all these other retailers normally stock and I look on there because I can use a student discount now they always drop at 10 a.m. And I was awake at like nine and I was like, um, they didn't drop anything at 10. So I waited around, they didn't drop anything at 11. I waited and they still didn't drop anything. And I kind of got in, I got in touch with their customer service team and they're like, we don't know when it's going to drop. And I was like, huh? Companies need to do better. Like, in, like tell your employees, tell your customer service team because this is ridiculous. It didn't drop till midday. And that is the same time as Adidas went live for everybody. Um, so that was annoying and ASOS only had 22, 24 things I think um, and you couldn't use student discount on any of it because it was shipped directly from Adidas and you can't do it when it's a brand partner which was really frustrating that really miffed me off but yeah just the communication and stuff like that has been so stressful and so poor that I know a lot of people were furious I saw a lot of angry people on Twitter in terms of stuff they wanted wasn't there how badly it's been communicated, no one knew what time the drop was. I got an email the week before telling me the Ivytopia drops on July the 22nd and I was like, it's a day after the online drop, why are you sending me an email with the wrong day? I now find out that was the day of the general drop. So yeah, it was messy, it was chaotic, but I do like the way they do the, the, the early access based on levels and like you can access certain items based on what level you are. I think it's annoying, I think it's a little bit cheeky, but considering I've already spent that much money, I don't really mind it because it gives me access to basically everything. They did this with Peloton as well. It seems like they listen to some complaints and improve on that, and then there's something else to get annoyed about, and it's just like, come on, please just sort your shit out. It's just so frustrating. And also lack of men's. I know a lot of my male friends, my male high friends have been complaining. There is a lack of men's wear, like, there are swimming trunks and a few gender neutral items, which is great, but we'd like to have a little bit more for the men. Like this is a, this has been the case all the time and it's frustrating because the women get so much and there are gender neutral items, but we want to be taken care of too. We want pieces that are made for us too. So yeah, that is my kind of like little rants about the drop. I was furious though. I was just like, they can't get their shit together every time there is something wrong. And I hope that it improves. They have glimmers of hope, like this early accessing with like tiered thing. That is really cool. I like that. And it's it makes it less stressful. But then they do something else and it's just like, can you just like do one thing and put all the good stuff you've done together and like listen to what we're saying? It's just a nightmare. It's just a mess all the time. And it actually is making me really stressed and I don't enjoy buying Ivy Park. I hate buying it. I love the anticipation of seeing the site and seeing what kind of the models look like and what the items look like. And I love the leaks. I just hate the buying process because I'm so stressed and so overwhelmed because there's so much going on. There's something going wrong all the time and there's no communication. You're not knowing anything for the last minute because I think that's like to keep it a surprise. But hey the drop's done um it's colorful it's fun it's exciting i love the pieces i've got so i'm gonna look on the positive side but i am gonna be keeping it real and keeping it honest because adidas need to sort that shit out because this is ridiculous it's a mess like how does your customer service team the people who work for you not know when products are going on sale it's all internally so badly organized most of my dear ivy park concerns still stand 
I think their marketing and stuff has improved. Ivy Heart was a real improvement. I love seeing the kind of new designs and like new artworks they came up with for their Insta posts. It just needs, it needs to give people more time to kind of like know about the drop, more time to promote it. Because money goes into this and I know it does because the visuals are stunning. Adi definitely needs to let people know ahead of time what time it will drop for creators, what time it will drop for the general public, will there be early access. All this surprise malarkey is really annoying and it's really frustrating and it's actually putting a lot of people off. So, yeah, that is my part two of Dear Ivy Park. Not Dear Ivy Park, Dear Adidas specifically right now because this is actually a them problem, I think. With that said, I'm going to end off the video here. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know your experience of buying through this drop. Um, I want to hear what people have been going through because I know that it's a very common occurrence. But yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I've had an absolute fab time. As always, I love making these. We all know... This Friday is Renaissance Day. I'm very excited. I have got a very special video for Renaissance Day coming up. So this is going to go out on Tuesday and then the album is coming out on Friday. So I will be doing a Friday reaction video to the album. So I'm very excited. But yeah, I will see you on Friday. Stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out and keep an eye out for that video. Keep a lookout. Let me know what pieces you picked up. Um, let me know what you think of the like items, what your favourites are, if you didn't pick anything up, or what you want is. Let me know. Let's have a discussion. I like talking to people. I that's my favourite part. Like I love making these videos because I love to like talk to people. People ask me about sizes all the time, but I love having community like just little conversations with people in the comments and it's just so much fun. It's like this little community and it's just People that watch my video, my Ivy Park video specifically through, uh, throughout and have watched all of them say hi. Like, thank you. Thank you for being here. If you're new, hi. I'm Rochelle. I do Ivy Park videos. I make fashion videos. I do food videos. I do vlogs. I do a lot of travel vlogs, actually. So just an introduction to myself again. Sound off in the comments down below. I'd love to have a chat with you. I haven't had a chat with any of you, like, Ivy Park fans since February. So I'd be keen to get a chat in but yeah i will see you in my next video which will be on friday which will be the renaissance reaction video till then take care get ready get in your clobber for renaissance um and like i said sound off down in the comments let's have a conversation but till then take care bye